The following program is a special presentation of the Big Ten Network, produced in association with Michigan State University. The world of music is here at MSU. You might think the MSU Symphony and a hot Cuban band are unlikely partners. You'd be wrong. Are you excited about this performance today? Oh, of course. That's part of my life. For us, every time is a challenge. We want to see people uh, enjoy our concert. This is, this is like an experiment, you say that? Uh, but I think it's going very well. The thing is, the people understand that you know, if you are Cuban, that you can play classic music. We studied 15 years classic music, so for us, it's, it's no new the thing. The, thing. the new thing is mix. Symphonica, it means uh, a rumba, the, the style of dance music from Cuba. Sinfonica is Spanish for symphonic. So in English it translates to symphonic rumba. And the term rumba identify a particular uh, genre of Latin music, but also the word uh, rumba in some countries like uh, in Venezuela where I, uh, where I grew up uh, means party. <laughs> So you go to a Roomba, so we have a Roomba tonight instead so we have a party tonight. So it has that, uh, the word has this association with party, with going really, you know, crazy dancing and having fun. So it's, it's, uh, it's a nice, nice double, the word has a nice double meaning. Professor Ricardo Lorenz composed Rumba Sinfonica, a blend of symphony and Latin rhythms. He worked with one of the best Cuban bands, Tiempo Libre. Tiempo Libre is uh, a group of timba, as I mentioned, this hyperactive contemporary salsa uh, music, and they are all Cubans, and that this music was born pretty much in, in Cuba. And uh, they immigrated to the United States, and uh, they got together in, in Miami, playing music uh, whenever they had free time, so whenever they had Tiempo Libre, and that's how they uh, got this name. 
they were nominated for a Grammy and they have been doing a really nice job with this contemporary style that mixed salsa, reggaeton, uh, rap, mixed several things. And uh, uh, it happens that uh, composer Ricardo Lorenz saw them uh, giving a, a master class at Indiana University and he just uh, got this brilliant idea of writing something that will unite Tiempo Libre with a symphony orchestra. I like to, s to see this project as a dialogue between these two worlds. Sometimes a debate of ideas and, and concepts and ways of playing too. There's something in, in music that we call uh, uh, music practice. It's the way instruments are played. It, it is the way music is conveyed. Classical music is conveyed through music notation. So what we have here in the back, notes and, 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 um, and key signatures and so on. Popular music is conveyed orally. Well, these two worlds come together in Ruban Sinfonica, and that, you don't get that very often. So, so in that sense, too, is a merging of these two worlds. And in that sense, it's a dialogue, too. How does notated music dialogue with orally transmitted music. Yeah. In this case, it's a wonderful opportunity for uh, students in Michigan to uh, play a piece written by a Latin American composer performed by a wonderful uh, Latin American group and conducted by a, a conductor that grew up, grew up in Latin America. So this is a real thing. They are being exposed to the real music, the real Latin American music. Mm -hmm.